Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Oh yeah, be careful what you wish for, energy, Capricorn, Leo. There's a Seven of Swords, a Knight of Swords. Uh, be careful what you wish for. Alright, media future for Pisces, please. What's coming up? Thank you. Ooh, it looks like love. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's that Ace of Cups. So it could be something that's brand new. It could be something that just, you know, there's a lot of love involved. This could definitely be around career. You may be finding like a career path that. You know, actually, like, it means something there. Um, for some, there's definitely a job offer. All right, looks like something. You could just, I mean, it could literally be around, like I said, work, career, security, finances. But this could also be home, family, you know, love that's, that's building some type of structure. Show me this Queen of Pentacles, please. The Queen of Pentacles is all about security, home. Taking care of self. Yeah, you're working hard for something here. The hangman, that's your energy. You're manifesting. But you're moving through what looks like an extremely difficult time. You have the nine of wands and the ten of wands. So something has definitely been a challenge. This could be something that you really waited on, that you've worked hard for. That you kind of, I mean, it, it, it kind of, the nine of, something about this was difficult. It was a long journey to like, it, it, you may have carried a lot of weight, a lot of responsibility, but now it's taking charge. I mean, it's, it's moving forward. You're manifesting it. With the Knight of Cups, this could definitely be a person approaching like something that's brand new or, you know, a situation like where it could have been like a really rocky relationship or things could have been really difficult. But what you're manifesting is this Ace of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Cups, please, for Pisces. A lot of emotions are involved. This feels like a person. The Six of Cups, the Queen of Cups, that's your energy. The Six of Swords. For some, you could be moving or traveling. And there you could be meeting someone brand new, especially if you're single. But for others, with the Six of Swords, like something around this situation has been really freaking rocky really bumpy possibly for a while and you're moving past that even if you've been single i mean the ace of cups can also be self-love like i said you could be traveling you could be moving but also with the six of cups um if this is something that's brand new it's kind of like that instant chemistry type thing it's also it could be somebody you know that you've been waiting on from your past as well either way Feelings are definitely involved here. You could be moving or traveling for work and meet someone as well. Show me this Eight of Pentacles, please, for the outcome for Pisces. The Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. You're taking it slow. You are working, like literally working towards it. The Nine of Swords. All right, so a little bit stressed out, but kind of taking it day by day. Um, slow and steady with the Knight of Pentacles. Slowest moving Knight of the deck, but slow and steady wins the race. And with that Knight, when that Knight does get there, the energy gets there, there's usually like a solid offer. And the fact that like the effort's being made, it's being put into the situation, it is moving just incredibly slow. 
you may be taking your time because, you know, I mean, there could be, there's, there's worry here with the Nine of Swords, but I think because with the Nine of Swords, sometimes, you know, this is anxiety and, and a mental way of like our mind can kind of play tricks on us. And it almost seems like it's directly, directly related back to something, you know, the, kind of like this challenging time that there was. So just see things clearly. There's a lot of love here. Take your time. Take it slow. Seven of Wands. Somebody may kind of, you know, put some guards up, some defense, deep defenses up. The Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Just be mindful in the Five of Wands. Communication could kind of get kind of a little, it feels like gone sideways. Because we we got the Five of Wands, the Seven of Wands now. But at first, it looked like things were real peaceful. So sometimes with that Knight of Swords and the um, the Nine of Swords, communication can kind of come across a little unthought through. And, you know, sometimes anxiety, I mean, anxiety is very real, but that kind of looks like it may be playing a part as well. All right, Pisces. I Hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below too. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.